What's up, Baz Bays? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. I will be in the computer lab today because, as some of you have seen, my Chromebook card gives me anxiety. And who's messing with that? I'm not. I'm not messing with that. So, the principal said he was going to order something else to help organize it. So, we'll see. When or if that turns up soon, so we can start using the Chromebooks a little more. It's just too much. Um, my library needs to be fixed. Let's see. This table. So you got a few little chips on it. So Sydney, my daughter, she's really excited. She just got hired for a job. She'll be working summer camp um, where they travel to different areas in the East Texas and so she's super super excited so the day she graduates the next day she leaves for seven weeks for to be a camp counselor so it's like a traveling camp that they set up for kids in the inner city in different areas so she is beyond excited I'm excited for her because this is right up our alley Clinton is doing well baby um, I'll try to insert a little clip of his apartment. I gave him one of my sofas in my house. reorganized stuff in my living room so I'll show you that and Bobby she's doing well she wants care packages she said that um all her you know teammates and stuff they get care packages but she doesn't I'm like you know but you know I'm still paying your car note car insurance and all that stuff so, so that is your care package so anyway I will try to get her a few things to send her so she feels uh, included. I know she has a game coming up, I think this month in Tyler, Texas. Have no idea where that is. I think it's a couple of hours away, not too, too far, maybe three, four, I'm not sure. So I'm going to try to go to that game, but the likelihood of her playing is slim to none because she said you just got to pay your dues and freshmen don't really get that much playing time so we'll see it'll still be nice to go see her and so i got to work a little early today got to work at 6 30 so i really been just straightening up and you know getting my mind together what i'm going to do so i have some more prep work i need to do um i want to model some things for the kids and um, show them how to write um, a certain way so I want them to see me do it I'm not sure if I want to do a video so I don't have to do it all day long so I'm thinking in my mind how I want to do it um, so I have about two hours because I have first period planning so right now it's seven o'clock <clears throat> the bell doesn't ring to eight and so I have about two hours and sometimes when you write, you write to rewrite. You just nobody writes a perfect first draft. I don't, I don't know who does. So, you know, I, they just need to keep writing and learning these skills. Because the more you do something, the better you're going to get at that skill. Just like an athlete. The more you practice, the more you train, you're going to get better at that. So, and it's just like some kids just don't want to keep practicing they do it once and they just want to stop no you got to keep doing it because if you don't use it you lose it so um things are going okay um had a disgruntled parent um had to get administration involved but at the end of the day it's about holding your child accountable and responsible it is what it is and the kids need to think and problem solve it's like parents want to jump in and solve everything, okay? So if you don't have a certain thing, you don't have a certain paper, you don't have a certain supply, how do you think you're going to get it? You got to ask, you got to prepare, make a copy, take a picture, make a video, whatever, problem solve. And the parents want to jump in to problem solve 
for the kids. And it's just, uh, oh, he didn't do well on the test. Can he take the test over? Uh, it is what it is. He didn't do well. They need to come to tutorials. So, oh my break. One is long, one is short. So, I was doing something the other day at school. And I was rushing, rushing, rushing. But I was cutting. Child, I'm going to cut a braid off. And one student was like, um, Miss Basil, why would you cut your braid? You think I meant to cut my braid? Do you think I meant to do that? It wasn't on purpose. It was an accident. Trying to prepare, trying to prepare stuff for you in your class and all the other classes. I just got carried away and cut my hair. Mm-hmm. Baby, I need to redo this hair. I just be tired, y'all. So today, what we're doing, I have the students, they're going to type in their stories that they wrote for their test but it was hard trying to read and decipher handwriting and see if they had the elements that I was looking for in their story. It was just hard to read 150 of those. So I'm going to have them type their story, highlight the certain lines that need to be labeled, and they can do a comment. So I have to show them how to do that today. Um, so I'll probably create a video because I don't want to have to do it over and over and over. And therefore, if I do the video, I can put it in, um, Schoology is the platform that they use. I'm not a virtual teacher, so I don't have to use Schoology, but I use it as a resource. So what I choose to put on there is what I choose to put on there. Not what people expect me to put on there because it's optional. So... But I, I still try to uh, keep as much on there as I can that works um, with my schedule and my patience. But I try to put as much as I can on there. So I'm going to do a video and put it on there. So if they need to review it and get some practice, some ideas, the video is there for them to see. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to get me some water. And I'm going to be, did I say this already? I'm going to be in a computer. I did say it. I'm going to be in a computer lab. So I need to take all my stuff to the computer lab and get set up in there. All right. With that said, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And let me show you the quote that I wrote on my door this morning. Okay. So come with me, hunty. <clears throat> Kids love writing on my desk. <sighs> so annoying. So this is our quote this morning. Happy Tuesday. So let me go get my water and walk my stuff over to the computer lab. So I don't even want to take my stuff out here since I'm going to be in a computer lab all day. And sometimes I like to get out of my classroom. It's crazy. I want to get out of here. And so I'm going to do that. And then I got this new computer, um, this pro, I, I purchased it, but it's a click. I put every kid's name in. So I took the time to do that and it worked like a charm. I used it for the first time yesterday. You press the button and it'll brrrr, and it goes through all the names and the kids tell me where to stop. So, um, that's how I call on people. But what I did, the quiet people or the people, um, that kind of disappear in your class, I put their name in there about four or five times. Some people, the smart, smart ones, their name got in there once. But the um, quiet ones, I kind of want to pull them in a little more. And it's easy to forget a student. I mean, sometimes there's so much going on, and the quiet ones, they do disappear <laughs> into the furniture in the room. And you kind of forget about them sometimes. So just to make it a more conscious effort for me, um, I put their names in a little more on... Um, to call on people in a class. And people, they were quiet, they didn't call out. I, they wanted their name to pop up. So it was really, really great. So I do have this other item. There's something that kids have to do. I'll probably have them do that tomorrow because I have a spinny thing. And I think it's with numbers. And I might break that out tomorrow. So if, they, if it spins and the number, um, the spinny thing lands on a three. So number three on the list, maybe add a dependent clause 
to a sentence, add two adjectives, add two adverbs. So I really like it. So it'll be fun. And they can do it with the partner to create sentences. So I'm really excited about that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And we should probably have them create the sentences on a board so we can all see their little minds working and we can see their thinking. But that may take a lot of time. So maybe not. All right, I will talk to you forever. I have so much to do this morning. Oh, I gotta sell the cones. I have car rider duty today. One of my favorite duties. Okay, so I need to get going. I love you. Have a great, 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 great day. Morning, afternoon, evening. Whatever it is for you. Bye.